My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Here we go, one of the most desirable muscle cars on the planet, a red 1970 Chevelle SS, and it's a convertible. Clean South Carolina car, nice body. Go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures top to bottom, and that's where you find the price tags on over 200 collector cars that we have for sale right now. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching these videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, that way you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. For right now, the top is down. Join me, let's go for a spin. Yeah, it is very clean body. I just did my inspection. It's straight, dry. Uh, the floors are just nice, smooth, clean floors. The braces, the floor pans, just nice looking metal. I didn't see cuts or splices. There is one area uh, in the trunk floor from underneath that is a little bit questionable, but other than that, it all looked good to me. Um, it, I also believe it's a real super sport. It's impossible to tell for a fact on any 1969 or 70, but it has the F41 suspension under there, uh, which is boxed rear control arms, front and, re front and rear sway bars. It has its VIN number matching uh, with the 1970 tag riveted to it, uh, Turbo 400 automatic. Turbo 400 is the bigger trans. Uh, you would think it would come with the big block. The rear end is original. Uh, I forget the code offhand, but also the date codes match it to this car. And it's a 331 12 bolt. And when you look up the codes, it is mated to a 396. So that rear end came with a big block uh, engine. So a lot of indicators telling me it's a real super sport. And there's a few more I'll tell you about in a minute too. Uh, but right now we're talking about the underside. It's got a nice dual exhaust system. They even put the resonators in the, in the tailpipes in the back. Uh, rarely do you see that. And it has the cowbell tips. Uh, the front end components don't look brand new, but they look fine. Um, <clears throat> The front calipers, their disc brakes in front, the calipers, the backing plates, they look like they've been replaced uh, recently. The shocks have been replaced. They're air shocks in the back. The body, uh, real nice. I was telling you there's other indicators. A Malibu has trim all along this edge right here. It has trim, and it's held on with bolts. You look for a hole. You feel behind the fenders for holes. You look up in the quarters. There's no holes. This never had that Malibu trim on it. And it is, the lines are square. I was really impressed how the doors, the trunk, and the hood fit so perfectly square and flush, even up by these headlight uh, buckets. That's kind of a problem area I noticed on Chevelle's, and it lines up real nicely. This trunk is in here spot on. Really nice fitting panels. And it is straight. This trunk is smooth. You can look all the way down, end to end, there's not a ripple. I looked and I felt, my eyes aren't what they used to be, there are no bubbles down here at all. All clean, straight metal. When you open the doors, the bottom of the door, the edge is nice and clean. It's not, you know, bondoed over. So I think the body and the metal on this car is exceptional, probably the highlight of the car. The paint is very smooth and glossy. I mean, if you find a flaw, it's going to be a tiny one. There, there's no problem areas, no issues. It's smooth and glossy. Uh, you got the SS hood. The stripes are painted on properly. Up front here, everything is shiny. The bumper, the emblem, the bezels, all that looks like it's been redone. windshield is crystal clear. I'm sure that's been replaced. So the motor is not the number matching to this car, but it is a correct. It's code CTX, uh, and I also looked up the casting codes. It is a 1970 Chevelle 396, 350 horsepower motor. 
The motor runs real nice. Everything in here is cleaned up very nicely. The interior is very nice. The carpet's been replaced. The seats have been reupholstered and recushioned. Uh, the seat backs are real nice. Uh, the door panels, armrest, front and back, all replaced. Uh, dash pad, visors have been replaced. The steering wheel's new. It's on a tilt column. Trunk compartment's very clean metal. I didn't see any cuts or splices. This quarter panel might be a full replacement. I don't see any uh, cuts or splices, but when you look up in here, it's black. The new panels usually are black. So they must have did it at factory seams. I believe that side's the original quarter panel. Interior lights work. Uh, not a over-the-top perfect, perfect car, like the knobs on the vents and the kick panels are yellowed. The, Covers right here for the headrests are a little discolored. Um, uh, the seat belts are original. They're good, but they're not you know, pristine and sparkling. The center console, 90% of it looks new. There's one aluminum insert on top of the console. It's got some light scratches on it. That's easily replaceable. So someone can tinker a few things you can buy out of catalogs and bring this car up to the next level. Motor compartment, like I was saying, is very tidy. All the metal surfaces are smooth. It's not layer and layer of flaky paint. Uh, it's all smooth, clean metal, painted nicely. The motor is painted very nicely. I don't see orange overspray. It looks like it was a part when it was painted. Uh, it has an HEI ignition, stock manifolds, alternator looks new, the pulleys, power steering, the alternator, all clean. Uh, power steering, power brakes. The weather strips around the doors, the windshield were replaced. All the weather strips on the top were replaced. It's a power convertible top. It's black. It's in real nice shape. Uh, there is a cord with a remote sitting on the seat there. That's for this a 10 disc changer, or maybe it's a six disc, but nonetheless, it's a CD changer in the back here. It has an SS wheel and uh, a Winston tire to match the others. I don't see a jack. Weather strip was replaced. Under the trunk lid and the jam are smooth and glossy. Uh, the SS wheels are, are nice. Uh, the trim rings are a little dull. They're not beat up. Uh, you know, the difference between this and one of them high-end cars, little things like that. Door jams are real slick even up front there. So I think it's a really nice car. It's got a nice body. Uh, good looking, turnkey, ready to drive and enjoy. You could tinker if you wanted to and bring it up to the next level. Look at how nice that hood fits. I've sold cars for a lot more money that didn't fit that nicely. So there you have it. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. There's plenty of ways to reach out to the sales staff. They can help answer your questions or concerns. They can get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you with financing. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.